Hello, today we will be looking into intents, uh, intent listeners and listen type steps, like these three ones. Uh, I have a very simple chatbot made, which is mainly driven by the intents and uh, intent listeners. So as you can see, we have a start shipping here, we have a block and step which just basically reads you and after that it triggers this uh, get input intent and we also have a listener um, in a different topic in our chatbot which listens for this get input intent and once this intent is triggered it just goes with its flow we also have a uh, conversation and intent, which is also listened in its separate topic. We have a service ordering intent, which is also listened in a different topic. And we have this uh, question answering intent, which doesn't do anything also, but listens for the intent. So that's, that's a quite simple setup. Uh, we can try to run through the bots to see what it actually does, how it works. So uh, it is able to potentially answer you any question. So uh, what it can do, it can identify if what a customer typed in is actually a question. If it is a question, it will send you to the question answering flow. And we can test it now. So it identified that it is a question it went to the question answering flow and once the question was answered uh, we came back to our um, get input um, flow there's also this uh, other intent which uh, is trigger when a customer wants to order a service So you can see it's being triggered. Uh, it also, this flow also needs uh, additional input from a customer. And once once the name is inputted, all, all the steps for the ordering a service was performed and we came back to the get input flow. And we also have conversation and intent so once once the chatbot detects uh, this intent from the customer that he wants to end the conversation uh, the customer is basically run through the end conversation flow and that's it so that's a quite simple chatbot we can now look into how it's made uh, the main part that basically collects the input, uh, the utterance and determines the intent is in here. And first I would like to look into the three different types of how, you, how a customer can input information into our chatbot. So you already seen the capture, like it just listens what you input and does nothing else. Then we can also have a button. Now, although we have this button being displayed, you don't actually need to press anything. And so this is one of the things you need to know that with voice, voice flow, um, you should not expect that the customer will be pressing a button because he can also type anything successfully in here and by typing his intent like you could trigger a totally different flow for example if you press this i do nothing it will say that well i didn't understand you so let's try again and say and as you can see although we did not have a button uh, we managed to trigger this uh, service ordering flow. So this is one of the things that you need to keep in mind 
in mind that no matter what what you use for capturing the input from the customer you should also expect that a customer can just input something and the intent can be triggered even the one which you did not expect to be triggered so that can cause some issues and if you don't know why it is happening you might spend a lot of time so why does this happen well it happens because each of those listen well it happens because of a couple of reasons first uh, we have these intent listeners which are available for any topic not just for this topic and everything that triggers this intent from within this topic from within this end conversation but from any topic you can trigger so that's one of the reasons so for example if you would disable uh, this end conversation topic and not be able so that other topics will not be able to reach it then we can just simply look in here and we see like oh so the end conversation like there's nothing selected because that topic no longer is available globally but if we turn it on we can reattach it again as you can see so this is one of the reasons uh, why you might have this unexpected behavior when a customer just types something in and suddenly you are in ordering flow when you wanted to do a totally different thing and the other reason is when you are listening for the customer input either it will be button choice or capture you can also define how the intent mapping will be done so only listen for the attached intents to this um, for this step or or do you want to listen from all the intents basically what it means is that as you have seen like if if i type that we display a button input but a customer types that he needs a cleaning service and because we do a, we do a global listening by default it will be matched and you will be redirected to this uh, service ordering flow so keep in mind this is a default setting so if you don't want to have unexpected consequences uh, use only listen from this step and then there is other thing that might be unexpected for example if we try to just use the regular capture and we will try to order our service as you can see we don't have a name and we ask for a customer to enter his name so it's also a simple capture step but what you think happens if i type um, I'm not sure if we will be able to trigger this so no uh, but if for example I type I need to end this conversation so as you can see we continue it continues to ask a name and most likely it works this way because 
previously I was testing and selected the scope only uh, intents from this step. Now, if we try to run um, this test again, you will see that if you leave a default configuration, when you are capturing a name, if your customer enters or not even a name, it can be if you want to capture any data uh, from a customer that you want to use later on. So if that data that the customer will be inputting matches any of the intents for which we are listening, uh, instead of like capturing the data, you will be redirected to that intent. So before I was only listening, this, this capture step was only listening for the listening and triggering the intents only in this topic. But now once we set it to the default configuration, I can say end conversation. And instead of capturing a name, it will trigger end conversation flow and it will just end the conversation. So these are like gotchas that you need to know in order to make your bot in a correct way to behave in a correct way and so that it would not accidentally trigger some of the intents you're listening and just go totally in a different direction when you expected it to work and so yeah that's it for today